what's going on guys welcome to my channel today uh, I'm going to show you how you can deploy your Django application in a live server and that is through cPanel so I went ahead and bought uh, a shared hosting uh, from one of uh, local companies here in Kenya and they are using cPanel so I need to deploy my application uh, in a live server such that it can be accessed publicly through internet okay so anyone in the world can be able to access this application so let me show you how the application looks like uh, in a local host that is within my computer so just turn your application on PUI run server. So it's usually Python manage the PUI run server that should initiate your application within your computer. So currently, as you can see from the folder structure of this application, we we have my blog uh, folder that hosts uh, WSGI URLs to PUI and as well settings with PUI. I hope the guys who are experienced with Django framework understand this and as well we have another folder there blog app so this is the application itself and then we have my blog group folder there that host manage the py file so uh, pay attention to my blog folder so now if we go one up level uh, to the next folder which is bunny blog so within bunny blog folder is where i created my django uh, project by the name my blog okay so the application has already started let me just go to that url and as you can see it's a basic uh, application with a set of spot trading calculators so just to access one calculator that's how it looks like going back to the dashboard access another calculator i can go back to dashboard and then i can access another uh, calculator from there okay if you want to know more about what these calculators are doing do check on the link uh, in this video and then it will take you to uh, another tutorial that I made on what these calculators uh, on what this set of calculators does okay so going back uh, to the home page that's how application looks like now I want to be able to access this application uh, in a live server or via internet okay so I got my cPanel already open here. I'm within file manager. If you need to access file manager, just go to home uh, page of your cPanel area and then you scroll down. Under files, you should be able to select file manager and it will take you to this page. Okay. So now, uh, once you have your cPanel already, uh, we can just go back to our project group folder. So as I told you, that project is within this folder, bunny blog. And then within bunny blog, the project name is my blog. So we need to zip bunny blog folder so that we can upload it to cPanel. I had already done that, but I can just delete this one just for the sake of you guys to understand. So I have bunny block there, and then it's just right click, and then select send to compressed zip, zip folder. Okay, once we have the zipped file, we can go back to cPanel and upload it. So just within your file manager, click upload there. You select a file. And then I select the zipped part of my project.
Once it's complete 100%, just click the link below. And then you'll be able to see your zip file there. So we need to extract it. So you right click and then choose extract just in this directory. That is complete. And then we have our folder there, bunny blog. I can just open it by double click in the folder. And then I have my Django uh, project folder. And then if I right click that, if I double click that folder again, I have my application there, blog app. And then we have manage your, manage your py file as well in this directory. So once you verify that your folder is in good state, then we can go and create a Python uh, application. So what you need to do, just go to home page of your cPanel and then you scroll down under softwares, you'll be able to see setup Python application. Just click that. Then here we need to set up um, the Python application. Just click create application. choose a python a version that should run your application for my case i'm using python 3.8 uh, i'm using python 3.8 but i'll just pick um uh python 3.9 it doesn't matter since it's, it's the difference between these two versions is just the security update so i'll just select the higher version of python now this one application root if you can just go back to application root and then i go up level again up level so my django project uh, folder is within bunny blog so we need to start with bunny blog name uh, of this root folder and then django folder uh, django project folder next so what we do is you need to specify just as it is bunny blog and then forward slash my blog so sorry my blog so my blog is the Django project root folder and then bunny blog is the root folder that I created the project okay so for domain, you can select the domain that you want to serve the application from. So you might be having one, uh, one or two, or even more than one domain. So you need to select the one that you want the application to run on. And that is that. And for these two, you can leave blank. It will be auto-generated. And then we move next for the log file. We need to have a uh, log file generated for us such that if we experience any issues deploying the app or if the application uh, crashes we can be able to locate uh, the log file and then do get insights on how to debug the application okay so for my case i'm going just to specify as it is so you can create another folder just within the root as you can see we are currently on the root of our file manager uh, directory so for my case, I just need to create another folder within the root and call it app log and then forward slash passenger dot log. That looks okay. So where this app log folder will be uh, auto generated, you can just come back here on the file manager so that app um, uplog folder will be auto generated in this or under this directory so let's go back and create uh, our application that's all that you need to do so click create Okay, it has already created and another thing guys that you can notice we have 
a virtual environment that has been auto-generated for us under my blog uh, and our root uh, Django project root folder. And then we can use this virtual environment to install any library or modules that are running our application. Okay, we'll see that later. So we can just try to see if we can have any response from this uh, default uh, Python application by just going to our domain. So the domain is bunnyholdings.com. As you can see, I have a response there. Uh, it works in uh, Python 3.10. Uh, okay, so I'll show you where this uh, result is coming from. You can just go back to uh, see uh, to our file manager, and then we double click our root project folder, and then the Django project folder. Just within this directory, you can see we have passenger underscore wsgi.py okay so something to note is that manage the py and passenger underscore wsgi.py should be in the same directory so i can just open passenger file just so you can see click edit and as you can see we have a message there uh, it works and then we have the next line there python e so if you can just edit this like something like it works today and then i click save changes I go back to my python uh, uh, setup application and restart the application then come back to my domain and then refresh we should be able to see changes there see it works today so you now you know where this response is coming from and we are going to use that file passenger underscore wsgi now to call our django application okay so if you can just go back to our python setup app as you can see we have that passenger underscore wsgi auto generated and then we have an instance of that file uh, application as application okay so that's what we need to know so what we need to do is we need to make some few changes to uh passenger underscore wsgi and that is we need need first to comment that and then you need to add from my blog dot w s g i import application okay just to explain where my blog dot w s g i is coming from if you can go back to file manager you will see under this directory we have a folder named my blog that has our settings uh, the py file for experienced django developers they know about this folder so we have settings of py we have as well another file wsgi so we are saying from this folder my blog and then inside we call wsgi.py file so this file is the one that should be able to call uh, django application if we edit we will see an instance of our Django application as application. So this is what we are importing from that uh, file. So I can just close that one and then go back to passenger underscore WSGI or POI file. So that's how it's supposed to be. Make sure to comment all of that. You can leave this uh, just as it is and then you add this line of code. And then once that's done, just save changes. Then we need to do something else and that is to install our django library so we go back to our python setup page and then you need to copy 
the virtual environment path just click the environment path and it will be automatically copied okay so go back to home page of your cpanel and you scroll down and advanced you'll be able to see terminal open terminal and then you need to paste your virtual environment path there once that is done just press enter and then just do pip install django give it some time to complete installing so under this virtual environment you can install any library or module that you're using within your Django application. So the module is done installing, sorry, Django is done installing. Now we can go back to our Python uh, setup. Uh, page and restart our application before reloading Just need to scroll down The software is select setup Python app And then from here, you can restart your application. And then we reload our domain now. And guys, as you can see, we have now our application running within our domain and this is now in live server so this can be accessed anywhere in the internet if you want to access just go to this link and you will be presented uh, with this set of spot trading calculators page or website okay so you can access it and do your own magic here okay so another thing guys that I just need you to note about this application is that I'm not using any database. It's just backend is being run by Python function. That when you fill in the forms from these um, calculators, then the Python uh, functions will be able to run the magic for you and then present the results back to you in real time, okay? So that's how now the application is, can be accessed safely. We have SSL there to attach to application and it's working. So that was the, uh, so you can see it's working. And um, I believe guys will learn something about how to deploy a Django application in a live uh, web server, like C in cPanel and um, if you like the video do do share or like and subscribe for more uh, videos like this to come